Hey everybody, there is Viral here, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. So let's start episode 2. Previously. I don't need a previously, we finished it like, oh no, a couple hours ago. <laughs> Boom. Oh my god, you can do 998 mode. This mode requires you to complete the game using only non-lethal means. Bloody hell. Sure, easy again. Boom. Would you like a recap of the events of Bioshock? No. We literally completed it. A day ago. A day ago. <laughs> a couple hours ago. La poche du temps. Caf. Nice. A sunny day at an outdoor caf. Cafe, even. What could be better? <clears throat> but this is the episode where we actually play as Elizabeth. Which should be interesting. I don't know if she actually has any powers. Like, whether she's able to use vigor or not. Or, uh, placids. Plasmids. God. Yeah, I need to turn down the brightness. Sally, Sally, come out! Oh! Wasn't yours. Come stop. We're seeing it from the other perspective. I am so sorry. Now you're not. But you're about to be. Uh oh. Okay, bloody hell. <clears throat> and he did not say Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. He said Elizabeth Child, I'm so sorry. Get it right, game. God. Whoa. Holy crap, look at the scenery. Whoa, the balls. Mademoiselle? Yes? Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. She's actually missing a pinky. Je vous en prie. J'insiste. Thank you. Wow. Huh. How nice. Oh. We are in Paris. Wait, uh, am I able to turn the frame rate locking? Oh, it's already on. Damn it, I thought having that on would eliminate the screen tear. I guess it does, to be honest. Bonjour, Monsieur Surat. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Elisabeth. Elisabeth. Yeah, I see what you mean. You're just painting dots. Need a hand. Oh, 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 he missed a spot. Oh, I was just doing a bit of touch up. I like how there's no paint. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Bonjour. Oh, look at it. Well, that's. Oh, look at it. That's pretty cool. Oh, Bonjour. What the balls are. How are you wearing that in the sun? Oh, look at it. Wait. Dude, you're pointing the wrong way. Eiffel Tower is that way, my friend. Yeah, he's totally painting this. And you're not even looking at it. <laughs> bonjour, mon ami. Alors, tu as parlé à la jolie petite américaine? Oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Oh, I'm not actually talking to anybody. Hello. Comment ça va, Elizabeth? I like how everybody's so friendly. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. Everybody's so friendly. Yeah, okay. Oh. Wow. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Dommage. Are we actually in Paris, though? Or is it, like, the Colombian Paris? Where we're flying high up in the sky. Ooh! I love a baguette, but you don't let me have it. Oh, look at the puppy! I think this is... Roxanne. Yeah, I think this is the actual Paris. What is it with baguettes? Wooden baguettes? Oh, look at the cats! Oh god. Ew, the cats actually look rather gross. <laughs> oh, the finest cheeses! Oh, I can't go through them. Oh no, invisible wall! 
And I was like, maybe I can go by. Oh wait, I can go down here. Up oh, here we go. Oh, it's a bird. Oh my god. The scenery for this place is phenomenal. <laughs> Bluebird. Oh, I got a blue jay. Good question. The bird or the cage? Is that Sally? Whoa. Sally? Oh god. Uh oh. Oh god, things are changing. Oh, I don't like it. It was so bright and vibrant and nice looking. I'm right behind you. Come back. Uh, oh god, everything's on fire. What the fuck? Sally, stop! Come back! Why does she keep saying that? And why does she sound demonic? Sally, where are you going? On. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Things are a changing. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. <clears throat> stop, stop. But we're after Sally now. Where she go? Down into here. What could do what? What? Oh, I don't even want to. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. That was awful. Jesus. There's so many. That was fucking awful. Ugh. Turning around and her just being stood. Uh, I knew it was gonna happen. As soon as it had me facing something where I couldn't look around, and it was like a one way entrance, that's just obvious. Is that Booker? Oh god, it is. Oh no, it's Com uh, Comstock. Oh, this is a, um. What, what are they called? What are the odds? What are the odds? What's the hold of Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. Put a bullet in her. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Oh. And yeah, there's Booker. All your problems will be I keep calling him Booker, but it was Comstock. Tell him you can get him back. Whoa. Booker? Uh, Booker? What? Say, what? I don't understand. How? Say... I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. What the fuck? Now. What was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant-eyed wonder? Oh. His lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. I know. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, back in the city they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. Oh, okay. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. Oh my god. <laughs> Lonnie, punch. 
Falcon Punch. <clears throat> so this literally picks up right where the first episode ended. Come on, it's time to get moving. That's in fairness, that is Comstock. On the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. What have I gotten myself into? I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. Uh, but she made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. Oh. All of that knowledge. Holy fuck. I lost a pinky. But that version of me, she lost everything. Comstock. That final Comstock. He thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. But then why am I back here? Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? Soon enough. That's refreshing. Exit the toy department. Well, by climbing the wreckage. Of course. Alright. Whee! I was in Paris. I, I was happy. And now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? I was in Paris any more than I am Booker. Oh, it was a dream. Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me, Elizabeth. I ain't even here. It seems she is a bit crazy on her own. Oh well, yeah, she's dreaming up Booker, or thinking of Booker, one or the other. Either or. Oh god, this this is like an exceptional place for a horror. Considering it's a toy department. Toy departments are usually the perfect place for a horror to take place. What the fuck? There's a bunch of wood and there's also a vent thing. What the hell is this? Oh it's rubble. Oh, is that it? What are you? Huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself, Elizabeth. I feel... I feel s strange and, and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Stay away from me. What the fuck? By that. Stay away from me! But then, how am I here? How can I be dead in this? World? Oh no. Nosebleed! The fuck? My finger. What am I? Huh? I don't understand. I. I. If we're going to end up in the same place, it's behind. Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do what believe one can change fuck? things. But after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was <laughs> A physicist. Especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? I guess I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All close to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. What the fuck? Is this like the beginning of Infinite? You're trading omniscience and croissance for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? 